Friday night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Power A. Power through. Culpepper Ace Hardware. Your neighborhood home convenience store in Evans and Thompson. Great deals on furniture. See, buy it, take it home today. And Jostens, celebrating moments that matter. Welcome in the 2020 debut of Football Friday Night here on WJBF. Gosh, it was nice to see some <laughs> football tonight. I'm Brendan Robertson alongside Colin Cody. You're on one, one of those sides. Yeah, that's hot. We've got more than 30 minutes of scores and highlights coming your way. That's right, Brendan. Some great games on opening night for the GHSA. And we, of course, got our Game Night Live Game of the Week, plus our top plays of the night, my favorite every week. So that's right. All right, we're going to jump right in. We've waited long enough for some football. So the Evans Knights, the defending region champs, 6A Region 3. Plenty of firepower to repeat that feat this season. Lemuel Lackey's team opening their season on the road against the Cross Creek Razorbacks. Second-year head coach Monty Dilworth. First quarter night, second play of the game. Callan, we're going to see a lot from this young man this season. Jafran Star Graham, nearly 1,000 yards last year, takes the handoff on the right side. 62 yards later, and he gone. Seven, nothing, Evans. Evans defense making a big play, stripping the ball away, and number four, Eddie Henry, going to recover it for the Knights. And they waste no time. Caleb Jackson going to reward that man. Eddie Henry made a little push in the end zone. It's 14, nothing, Evans. Coach Lackey liking what he sees, but he wants more. They've been waiting a long time to play this first game. Cross Creek trying to come back. Zaire Stewart. Finds Fred Kelly with that Razorback drive would stall Evans, moving the ball again the other way. Caleb Jackson, Victor Garces down the sideline. Big gain on the last play of the quarter. Go to the second quarter. Joe Hampton blasted up the middle. And he's going down to the Hogs' one yard line. Next play goes in for the score. It's 21 0. Cross Creek would get backed up inside their 10. And this is kind of how the night went for them. Safety. On the bad snap is 23-0 Evans. Caleb Jackson would find Caleb Fleming for another big play and another Jafran Star Graham touchdown. Evans wins huge tonight, 58 to nothing, the final. All right, let's go to downtown Augusta, ARC. Great story in the Augusta Chronicle on their stadium this week from my buddy Will <coughs> Cheney. Some fresh new uniforms for the Musketeers. I like them. I like them. Yeah, that's right. Lakeside in the house. Steve Hibbett's ball club. I was trying to get a nice shot of the kickoff, you know, where we were kicking off games. And, well, ARC could not have started the season better. They pooch kick it. And Chris Murray, 65 yards the other way on the opening play of the season for ARC. Extra point no good, so it's 6 nothing Musketeers. Our buddy Carter Murphy looking on as the proud dad of a Starting quarterback, <laughs> his son Jackson Murphy starting. Lakeside went three and out, had to punt. And Murphy, well, he's got some weapons at his disposal. John Tavius Curry around the right side takes a big hit into your living room, but gets the first down. And they're going to go back to him, but maybe too big of a hit. Coughs it up. Devin Gardner's there to scoop it up for the Panthers. Uh, but offense was lacking in this one on both sides for a while. Lakeside forced a punt. Bad snap. And oh. Rise to lunch. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, is right there, Man. punishing the punter. Lakeside would get it back, though. Fourth down. They're going to go for it. Gavin Wright's pitch to Evan Hutchinson. I think he was maybe going to throw it to the end zone. It didn't his, even rain today. It's bobbled, right? And there was, Come guess on. who? Deloach again recovers for ARC. ARC driving down, going for the end zone on fourth down. Murphy looking over the middle. Good looking pass for Kellen mm. McDuffie, but to Marcus Elam there to break it up. For Lakeside, Lakeside trying to score before the end of the half. Gets something going. Gavin Wright to the middle to Tyrone Manning, but an equally good play from Jaden Griffin. And ARC holds on. 12-6 in the final. All right, let's take you on the road with the Grovetown Warriors taking on Effingham County. Buddy Holder, of course, coaches the Rebels from Effingham County. Of course, the Holder family. Rodney Holder, Grovetown. A lot of Holder. Michael Holder, USC and baseball. A lot of history. The Holder family here. Effingham County. Open it up and uh, trying to take a safety right there. That made it a 13-3 game. Then the defense smelling blood. That was a lob pass, and Tyler Wells picked that one off of the Warriors. Interception sets up the Rebels well. They waste no time. Zach Garcia, time to throw, and 
Mikael Allen streaking towards the sideline. He scores. Grovetown falls tonight, 21 to 13, the final. All right, so JB Arnold and the Jefferson County Warriors lost some key pieces from a season ago. Their first test: Michael Youngblood and the Thompson Bulldogs. Following the first outing at the Brick Yard this year, some much needed downtime, but they were back out there today here on the kickoff. We saw a lot of kickoff plays today, Brendan. Special Warriors teams. kick it off. The receiver controls it, but it's open season. Man, laying the wood is Cardarius Stone staying in the first quarter. Bulldogs moving downfield. Tay Martin sees his man, but he doesn't see the defender. The ball is going the other way. Yeah. This one was a gritty one from the get-go. Warriors offense was stalled. Second quarter, Martin, this time, He's going to do it himself. Breaks a couple of tackles, bounces to the outside, picks up a great block. Good block. Man, yeah, yeah. and he is to the crib. First score of the game, 7-0. Same quarter, Martin this time with another score. Just a yard out this one. Thompson on top, 14-0. But the Bulldogs defense also coming up huge. Trey Main Shields finds Marquise Brady, who has nothing but green in front of him. Watch this. Snoop William come back and... Gets the strip from behind, what? and Thompson regains the ball. I didn't see him step out, but they said he stepped out, so they took over at, like, the two. However, the Warriors would get one more shot at the end zone before the half. Shields finds Kobe Heggs for the first score, 7-14 to 14 at the half, and Thompson gets the win, 21-14. to 14. Now, moving on, Burke County Bears and Savannah visiting Benedictine. First game under the lights at Memorial Stadium. Here, the cadets create some fireworks early on. A little sweep action here from Zaquan Bryant. Makes a couple guys miss, and this guy takes it 70 yards. What's your thing? He gone? He gone. He yeah, gone? He's a, uh, That's not even proper English, but whatever. Well-known player down there. <laughs> They're up 7 nothing. Bird County couldn't put up points early, but they certainly weren't backing down. Davion Henry looking like hit Derek stick. Henry. Hit stick. Yeah, hit stick. Get up, young man. Yeah, but they end up punting from there. Holder, Griner, trying to be smarter with the ball this time. Let's make him a playmaker. Does some things on the outside. That's a high percentage play. Trent Brodnox hauls this slant in for a touchdown. And Benedictine is going to double his lead following this play. Brodnox was a madman out there. Burke County, not enough offense. They fall to Benedictine, 58. 26 and matter visiting Swainsboro Tiger versus Tiger hold that Tiger back these teams not in the same classification but they want to prove a point this one Swainsboro offense Robert Allen puts a puts together a nice run then we have the Tigers facing the fourth and long Swainsboro punter can't handle the snap and they're back at the five setting up matter in pretty good dangerous territory quarterback Going to take it in himself, 7-0. The away team matter would force another turnover and get right back to work on offense. Nothing that's easy on Friday nights anymore. Woo. Matter, Aaron Collins, learning that tonight. Tough yards, but he gets the touchdown. Final score from this one is another tough defeat for Swainsboro, 28-0. Man, but don't go anywhere. We're just getting started right here on Football Friday Night. Yeah, Swainsboro is a top-10 team there, too. Yep. When we come back, more action from across Georgia, plus we'll Hit you with our game night live game of the week in a little. <laughs> 